I'm Brett Middleton. Today's update is to show you what the components are that are in an MRT XC kit for a Lancer Rally Art. Now we know that the Lancer Rally Art shares a lot of components with the Lancer Evo 10, but also there's a lot of components that are dramatically different as well. And I've got a fantastic opportunity here today. I've just interrupted one of our technicians in the middle of fitting this kit to a customer's car. I've got the parts on the bench, and what I wanted to show you first is this is the actual turbo off the Lancer Rally Art, and you can see it's fairly small. Um, it's got a single um, inlet to the turbo from the exhaust manifold, which that part connects onto this. Now, when you then match it with the manifold that we replace as part of the kit, we go from a, what we call a um, single scroll turbo to a twin scroll turbo. You'll notice that the ports are kept separate as this then goes into the back of the replacement turbo, which at the moment is actually fitted in the car. I can show you that in a second. But we've also got um, replacement upgrades that we're doing as an option of the kit with a pipe type exhaust manifold. Now at the moment, I'm reluctant to say the difference between the two, but obviously looking at the way they're man manufactured, you can see there's a big difference in the flow capacity between the parts. But what I did want to also show you is the dramatic difference between the dump pipe outlet on the Lancer Rally Art Turbo compared to the Evo Turbo. So this is, this is actually part of the upgrade in the XC kit with the dump pipe off the back of the replacement turbo that we fit. And when you compare that with that, you can just see just how much bigger and more capacity the replacement turbo as part of the XC kit actually has. That then goes down into the connector pipe off the back of the exhaust system and then down and out the back of the car. There is also an alternative replacement part of that with a pipe type dump pipe outlet which is a lot better design and flows a lot better. I don't have one of those here to show you at the moment either but my main aim today was just to show you the difference in the parts that are hidden down the back of the engine. Now with the XC kit um, Unfortunately, there are people out there at the moment putting all the parts on these Lancer Rally Arts in the wrong order. It is very, very important that you do it in the right order to get the maximum value out of the car. So that is ECU upgrade using Ecutec tuning software to convert the ECU and retune it. Then you would do typically an exhaust system and then you would obviously then do a modified turbo and then you would then do um, front man intercooler and things like that. Now the XC kit as part of the upgrade that we're doing maintains the original factory front man intercooler, gives a huge increase in grunt, which you can see in the dyno graph that I'll show you here now. And, but the big thing is when you lift the bonnet, it looks all original because we use a lot of original factory parts when we upgrade this car. It's not a simple case of just bolting on a bigger turbo and a different exhaust manifold and hoping it'll fit. You've got to modify the air filter box assembly, connector pipes, you've got to modify the, the compressor hoses, all the oil and water supply lines, the drain lines, all those things have to be replaced. And as you can see, just some of the parts here, these are just some of the parts that we have to replace, even just down to brackets and nuts and bolts, to make sure that you've got the reliability that you would come to expect. So what we'll show you now is if you just we'll get my cameraman to turn around down the back here, this is where the turbo is. And you can see here the connector pipe for the exhaust manifold with the twin inlet pipes because obviously that is what makes the twin squirrel turbo so efficient and brings it on boost and gives it the good grunt that you would expect out of this type of upgrade. And then of course, out through the turbine housing and into the exhaust system out the back of the car. The inlet side on the compressor housing is also different and requires more modification to fit with the original parts on the Lancer Rally Art airbox. Because you've got to remember, the whole air intake system on the Lancer Rally Art is different because the Lancer Rally Art has the battery under the bonnet, whereas the Evo has the battery in the boot. So the air filter box is all different, the blow-off valve is different, the compressor, compressor pipes for the intercooler and all those parts obviously different as well. So that's it for today. That'll give you some good information on what you need to learn and understand about your Lancer Rally. You might be just an Evo 10 owner and just curious to know what makes your Evo 10 a little bit different to the Lancer Rally. Um, hopefully when you're choosing to upgrade it, you'll choose one of MRT's kits, XA or XC. You can download the data and the document off our website, have a look at the dynographs, and you'll see just how big an improvement it does make to the car. And remember, 
keep in mind the other improvements that you should consider when you're chasing ground on these cars as far as sway bars, uh, the MRT big brake kit that we fit as well, and other things like that. For more information, of course, you can follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Flickr, download the Dynographs off Flickr, pick up the phone, give us a call at MRT, or talk to one of our outlets around Australia to take advantage of the nationwide warranty. Remember, this kit comes with a factory warranty guarantee, and of course, we're here to help you learn more about your car. For today, I'm Brent Middleton. Thanks for watching.